Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Crime Centric. This being a show where I talk about crime dramas that I watch. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Blind Spot. Obviously, they were back to back episodes, but I'm watching this one at a time and recording my thoughts, so do keep that in mind. Um, obviously, the recording for the. I'll, I'll get into that later. The fact of the matter is, a lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. Obviously, Madeline's got the team, she's got her fast track to the VP, its position. It's like, oh, it's all coming up, Madeline. Ivy's not happy because, like, where's my zip? Uh, you know, I kind of moved it to a secure location, so... But you'll find out soon enough. What do we deal with the team? All right, let's just kill them. It's like, no, 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 no. There's some more eyes on us now more than ever, so we need to be very subtle about this. So one by one, and I like that she's basically... I like how they hard cut it, like, between, like, her giving basically the same speech to everyone, trying to use everything she can, you know, being the manipulative person she is, trying to use family and trying to break their bonds but this team has been through too much for you to break that and so for her it's like i'll i'll uh it, basically she was coming at it from the angle of i'll make it easier on you no 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 i'll um I'm kind of trying to get everyone to kind of fall on their own sword type of situation and um obviously none of them were biting but obviously she tried playing like oh shit i mean come on tasha i mean the, the, oh, the baby situation. Oh, Kurt and his daughter. What about, oh, man, you know, you lost Reed and how terrible that was. Would you really want to put Jane and Kurt through that? Then being separated and knowing that the other was in a black side or something? Like, you know, it's like doing everything she can. Oh, Rich, what about Boston? Oh, we're closing in. Then we do see Boston. And then lo and behold, he gets saved. I was like, who is it? Who is it? And it's Patterson. I'm like, yeah. Like, I knew Patterson could be dead. I was like, there's no way you're doing that. But also at the same time, I was just kind of like, I wasn't expecting them to kind of. But I guess for dinner, they were like, no, 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 no. Let's not string this along. It's like, you probably suspect that Patterson got out. So, like, let's just hit it from the beginning. So her and Boston are trying to find a way in. Obviously, there's a whole thing with Whites. Whites was trying to bounce, but he couldn't because he felt even more guilty because the team is still around. And it's like, now that they've been captured, like, Madeline's still going to have her fingers wrapped around him to a certain extent. So I guess for him, it's like even less reason to leave now. But also, he was feeling a little guilty. So, but uh, Boston and um, Patterson are coming up with an idea how to get into the FBI. Uh, and they need fake IDs made by a friend. Um, two people that are part of they're like, hey, you, you're, you're talking about the team. We want to help. It's like, uh, we have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, oh. But then she's like, if something comes up, I'll let you know. And it's like, oh, that's pretty dope. Because it's like, and she's like, oh, it's cool to see that not everyone in the FBI building believes all the BS that's been told. It's like, no, no, no. There's still people behind us. We have become going at this alone. But the other, there are other people in the FBI building who side with the team who still believe them to be good people at the end of the day. Regardless, the fact of the matter is, Afreen, it's like, this is do totally Patterson. Obviously, White's is kind of reluctant. He's like, Patterson's gone. But it's like, do you really believe this is her? It's like, yeah, and we have to do this, you know, because this might be our only way of saving the team. So they make the fake IDs and they welcome the people in. But it turns out to be uh, Patterson and um, uh, a Boston in disguise, basically, to... Uh, get through like the facial recognition it's kind of said it has like gender bias so like when it's looking for specific people if you kind of change it's regular disguise is not going to work so they, it doesn't recognize them gender bending so like they both came in disguises and everything and so um uh it comes about you know time to you know uh rescue the team and everything so it's just like reunions all around i loved it um i thought that was super dope it's just like tasha being like wait Patterson and just being so excited to see her and everything and then he's like um, and then who are you it's like yeah oh not a thank you for rescuing me glad your behavior hasn't changed at all it's like she's like Boston it's just like and White's like yeah 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 reunions and everything is fine and dandy that's great um then they get to Rich and I well because I forgot or did they rescue yeah they rescued Rich first maybe uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already out of order with this, but I just thought it was beautiful, especially Rich obviously being happy to see Boston, but then he also saw Patterson. He was just like, it, it just like you could tell, it was just like, oh, and he hugs her and he's like, he's like, never do that again. She's like, I promise, okay? And I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. You know, it's just like friendship and family. It's like, once again, I'm a sucker for that stuff. So it's just like, especially after everything they've been through and just like, you know, they thought they lost Patterson. Hell, there were even flashbacks at the beginning of them thinking about moments with Patterson. It's just like, no! Because like, it's got to suck because literally after everything, they're all sitting here thinking like, we're here, like despite, doesn't matter what's happening to us right now, like Patterson's gone, you know? 
it's already bad enough they lost Reed. Now this too, that it just would have been too you know too much com um, compounded on itself. Also, this whole situation I should also know completely gets rid of that thought I had. So totally was Madeline watching. I was a hundred percent wrong. I was thinking like Keaton had that recorded or something like that. Totally not. It, I thought maybe a third party or somebody was. Watching. It's like no, it super was Madeline. I'm just you know I don't know. It, I was just kind of thinking it was more to that when it in actuality turned out completely be wrong. Regardless. Um, but the fact of the matter is you have Jane being the one that she's going to be the one to make the confession. The moment it like, oh, I didn't expect this one to be the one. I was like, it's Jane, isn't it? And it turned out to be her because they've been setting this up because let's not forget the entire season. Jane's been feeling like I'm the one that's responsible for everything. Like I'm literally the reason why everything that's ever terrible thing that's ever happened to this team has happened. So she, I figured amongst anyone, she'd be the one to fall on the sword because I think for her, she feels like. She has the less less to lose than everybody else, you know. Everyone else, I guess, for her, because she almost feels like she kind of has no family outside of this family. There are certain things I can get into about that, but I'm not going to. But so for her, it's like I got to protect my family. Like me saying that, you'll probably get on like what you could nitpick about that whole thing, but like that's not something neither here nor there about the whole argument. But nevertheless, it's a situation of like I think that's just Jane in general cuz like I said she blames herself. I mean it's like but I think that's the thing of like yeah, bad's come with Jane being a part of the uh FBI, but uh good has come about it too. Like this group has become a family with her at the center of it all, you know? So there's good that come comes with the bad. I mean, that's just life in general, you know? So and obviously Jane's made her mistakes and she blames herself. So like, like I said, I, I think it's kind of interesting because I feel like the season has kind of been leading up to that, which is like her kind of like her nightmares and her feeling like she has to be the one responsible because it's on her because of everything, because of zip, because of this and that, you know, so... I just thought that was an interesting thing. But before she can confess, like, they were able to get a Morse code message to her so that could, um stop her from like doing a confession and when it was all said and done though like it's like oh all this dirt we're digging up on madeline yeah it turns out all of it's pointed to you whites and he's panicking i love there was this moment where it's just like it's just going to take me uh a little a few more uh strokes and he's like keep stroking it's like i know and boston's like i know she doesn't work here anymore but i don't think you should say that to her and i was like eh, yeah you saying the words keep stroking yeah that's how i thought they were kind of like trying to like interpret like that's how that scene was meant to be interpreted when saying that you know you get what i'm trying to say i just thought that was interesting uh but in the grand scheme of things whites is panicking because it's like damn it like i i'm gonna take the fall for it it's like all the stuff you've been working with madeline like you've been reluctantly working with her because she's got this dirt on you just to find out oh she was planning on burning you the entire time because like she's been uh doing this whole um putting everything on whites for the past couple months so it's like everything you've been doing you know and it's just like because even tasha's like don't run because you won't survive running and then he leaves the room and they're like wait where did he go it's like i think he ran and it's like well shit uh you have rich getting to uh kurt and as they were leaving like an agent what's her name rose comes in and she's like whoa but they're like, come on, you know this isn't me, this isn't my team. And she's like, all right, handcuff me. I was like, what? You handcuff me and I'll say you 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 got the upper hand on me and you got away. I'll buy you some time. And it's like, yeah. Once again, it's like, yeah, we got friends in this building. Um, Jane's getting uh, transported. Uh, Kurt and Rich go after him. And it's like, all right, let's go up. And it's like, but there's six guys away. doesn't matter. Kurt gets some ass. It's like, no, nah, I'm getting my wife. My wife. Um obviously not exactly what he said but it just, it just you know so severely kicked some ass and even Richard's almost like oh okay that's pretty impressive uh sadly they got surrounded um as Patterson and you know um uh, Boston and Tasha were trying to leave too they got busted as well so that led to a situation of them all being um grabbed up by Ivy's people because I also love there's a conversation between like obviously the alarms are blaring it's like wait what oh I forgot the biggest I'm like I said because I'm all over the place I forgot the biggest thing Tasha because she was like oh I got someone to call up I'm like, who are you gonna call did not expect makeup like that makes sense in the grand scheme of things like wow so it's a thing of like hey uh I need you to run this story it's like it's un oh you want me to run it without any like backing and verifying all of it because I've been going after one of the most powerful people aiming for one so one of the most powerful people in the world right now she's like just trust me you know and kind of uses the read card which is like Megan kind of throws it back being like, well, let's not forget, he ended our engagement to be with you, so, you know, 
which even I'm like, oh, to be, I'm like, come on, he's still dead, and you did care about him. Shouldn't that be enough? But because even Tosh was like, don't do it for me, do it for Reed. But it's like, and just kind of like Megan's like, fine, just don't. If this goes bad, like, and it's like, Tosh is like, I know, it's like, but we're sending the data over, so the files and stuff, and we see that she runs it. So later on, Shirley's like, yeah, this is getting run, and he, he and um. Matt is like, it doesn't matter. Uh, we got some people to shut it down, right? It's like, yeah, no, we don't. We don't have blackmail on anyone. She's like, excuse me? Yeah, all my files are gone. She's like, how long have you known? He's like, it seems like he's known for a while because he's like, yeah, 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 I was trying to get him back before you noticed because the last thing he wanted to do was get on her bad side. So in the grand scheme of things, it's like, well, he's like, well, if he's like, I've got a family to look out for. So I'm a bounce. If I were you, I'd bounce too. And it's just kind of like, huh. Well, to be fair, you surrounded yourself with people who are all about self-preservation. So Shirley's never been shown to be the, have the biggest backbone anyway. So he's more of a yes man anyway. You know, so, well, that kind of fell apart. So, but luckily when the team did get captured, Madeline's not in the building. Uh, but White shows up and he's like, oh, Ivy gave me these orders. So it's like, yeah, this shows, this right here shows I'm in charge of everybody. And they're like, yeah, uh, you by yourself. And he's like, actually, no. Brought out the rest of the, the FBI agents that are working with them. Turns into a gunfight. Luckily, everyone got taken down. Once again, sweet move. Like, I like Tasha's, like, moves because, like, she, like, sweet sweat for the legs and stuff like that. It's like, yo, that was pretty safe. Uh, but regardless, like, everyone got taken down. I was like, all right. It's like, is everyone okay? I was like, Okay, doesn't seem like any of the FBI agents that came with them got killed or anything. It didn't seem like it. I was like, okay, so everything's good. And White's just like, is this bad? This looks like it's bad. Oh, yeah, this feels bad. I was like, oh, come on. And immediately I went to, remember what I said, literally everyone that's been in that chair, like 90% of, probably let's go more 75. 75% of people who've taken that position that White's is in over the course of the series have died. You know, the only exceptions is the lady uh, who was working for Sandstorm, who, wasn't she working for Sandstorm? I think so. Uh, who was locked up. She didn't die. And Kurt, they're the only two. Everyone else that's ever had that position is dead. So I was just kind of like, ugh. That was, yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, you know, and the sad thing is because White's ended up being, you know, kind of like the back and forth dude. So, and he's just like, no, 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 I'm good. Go rescue Jane. He's bleeding and everything. And everyone's kind of around him. And even Rich is like, yeah, you might have sold me out and everything, but still. And White's is, you know, oh, dude, it just sucks. And a friend comes and she's like, no, you should be. Why'd you do this? He's like, hey, a friend, how was your day? And he's, she's like, you lit, you left. You always leave. Why'd you come back? You shouldn't have come back. And he's like, I a thousand percent agree. The fact of the matter is he's like, this is what happens when you, he's like, I should have, I shouldn't have came back for these stupids but i did he's like this is what happens when you try to do the right thing and it's like that's kind of a bummer dude but i had a feeling when it was all said and done like the series was going to end with him sacrificing with i didn't expect it in episode nine i thought it'd be at the very very end i thought like screw the consequences and you know for the first time like because everything he's ever done before hasn't always been selfless like even helping the team it's always because eh, he also knew like madeline had him like you know uh had him at the guillotine as well you know so it was always a little bit of self-preservation this is probably you can make the argument the only non-selfish thing he's probably ever done over the course of the series like with no like self-preservation involved because he could have easily just left and left it up to the team but he came back and, it, you know, it, it's sad, you know, but he's just like, take Madeline down. Um, and he's also like, also one more thing. He's like, when it comes to my funeral, don't let them use the picture of me from the times. My hair was so greasy. And it's just like, oh, why did you had to go out on a damn joke? And he dies. I was like, damn, dude, I was kind of hoping to be like a thing of like, no, nah, what are you told me? I'm still alive. Like, but it's like, no, it's like, fuck, dude, that sucks. Like I said, literally most... So many people in that position have died. I was like, that sucks. Luckily, Kurt was able to get to Jane in time, but now it's like, okay. So that ended up happening. Then there's the whole thing of like, well, we got to find Madeline. How are we going to do that? Also, who's going to take charge now that he's gone and now that every Madeline's on the run? It's like, well, they'll send some bureaucrat, which I'm like, is that is it going to be someone we know or something, that bureaucrat that eventually takes over the FBI or whatever? Because I'm curious if the team going to, like, because that was also the question, like, what are you going to do if you do get your name cleared? I mean, it's like, would you go back to the FBI considering everything that went down? It's like, I mean, that's mainly because of Madeline using it the way it has been. But to be fair, this FBI agency has kind of been 
screwed since the beginning of the series. Just everything Sandstorm related. All the moles that have been in here. All the directors that have ended up dead. Like, it's just kind of like a, maybe walk away. I mean, I'd assume, uh, well, speculation can always wait. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, they get a word from somebody like, oh, this is where Madeline is. I'm like, who would sell her out? Would it be Ivy? I was like, would it be Shirley? Turns out it is Shirley. We'll get to that soon enough. But Tasha's there, and I was like, Madeline's kind of against the rope, so it's like, so Tasha's like, I was like, please don't do something where, like, Madeline ends up pulling a gun and Tasha has to put her down, because it's like, they still need to find the zip. Um, but Madeline's like, oh, but the fact of the matter is I won. The FBI destroyed my family. I destroyed the FBI. Like, me, 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 me. I turned this whole country upside down in an instant. And it's just like, you know, showing you Madeline's side, you know, like her being the very, like, narcissistic person she is. But she's like, oh, look at what I did. I'm amazing. I'm awesome. Yeah, so it's like, but the moment she starts sipping that champagne, I was like, and I was like, nah, please don't. And she dies. I was like, damn it. I was like, that's that's super unfair. Literally, after all the like death and carnage she's caused, like these past two seasons, she gets to just just casually get away with everything. That sucks, especially because like Tasha doesn't even get her revenge. So it's just well, that sucks. And now they have no idea what the bombs are. And then we find out, oh, it was Shirley, and Shirley's trying to make a deal with Ivy. The moment he was like, she was like, do you know the? Pa-? I was like, the moment he's like. Because he was an idiot for immediately giving away all his leverage. Because he was like, oh, here's this flash drive with all this stuff on it. It's like, you idiot. The moment you give that to them, they have no use for it. Because she's like, do you have a password? He's like, well, no. But there's an old saying, headshot. I was like, ugh. It's like, but there's a part of you that like, Shirley finally got his comeuppance. You kind of just wish that Madeline had gotten hers. Like, her name will get dragged through the mud. Well, it's not necessarily being dragged through the mud when it's true, just a, how much of a terrible person she is. Sad thing is, like, it was literally all for nothing because, like, you zipped your son and you walked away from, I mean, to be, you can make the argument it's probably better that he doesn't remember I mean, I mean that's not i'm sure jay would have an argument about like still regardless it's like his ties to that family is kind of better not knowing how much of a monster your mom is but i mean you lost of all who you were so but like i said all madeline's you know machinations came down to nothing like it was all for nothing at the end of the day so that's an uh, just it's interesting at the end of the day but now it's like well so, Madeline's been taken care of, but the Dabberzon is still out there, and they've got the bombs. Well, they don't have the bombs. They actually have to find them, and now it's a thing of, like, the team's got to find them before uh, Ivy does, so uh, we'll kind of have to wait to see what goes on in the next episode. Obviously, I know the next episode is literally next, so expect the re- uh, my review for that, like, two hours from now, whenever this goes up. So, it's going to... In the future, this isn't going to make any matter in the grand scheme of things, but um, I'm, I'm I'm interested to see what the second episode has in store for us. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, look like to the force, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.